The landscape is extraordinarily beautiful, but it's also very dangerous. We drove north for seven hours on new roads, which, thanks to corruption, are often breaking up already. This is a war zone. We could plainly see the battle scars on the police post as we headed into the town of Pulikumri. It's a prosperous agricultural centre, active and bustling. But there's plenty of nervousness as well. In the countryside around Pulikumri, the Taliban and their allies are operating, and everyone here is aware of them. When we were in the town, we were safe enough. It's under government control. But directly, you get outside it, you're in hostile territory. Out here, kidnapping is a real threat. But we've had the promise of a safe conduct from the fiercely radical group we're going to see, and we're pretty confident we can trust that. The meeting happened late at night on a dusty track not far from the main road. Only our Afghan cameraman was able to be there. Out of the darkness, the group's leader emerges with his bodyguards. Commander Mirwais belongs to an extreme group called Hezbi Islami, fighting alongside the Taliban in this area. And though Western troops are leaving, Mirwais won't lay down his weapons. We'll keep fighting until the rule of the Quran is installed here. We'll never accept the American-made constitution. Our struggle will continue until we establish Sharia law throughout the world. Mirwais says he gets many of his weapons from the Afghan army and police who hand them over in order to keep in with him. He and his fighters are very much their own men. Now Mirwais is considering linking up with ISIS, the Islamic State in Syria and Iraq, which he calls by its Arabic name Daesh. I know about ISIS, and we have links with some ISIS members. Muslims are thirsty for an Islamic caliphate in the world. ISIS is expanding, conquering parts of Syria and Iraq, and we're waiting to see if they meet the requirements for an Islamic caliphate. If they do, we are ready to join them. They are great Islamic fighters, and we pray for them. The increasingly brutal threat posed by these men is deeply disturbing to senior political figures back in Kabul. We are suffering. You are right. And it's getting worse. And it is at some places it is, you are right, getting worse because they have become very, very brutal, very brutal. God willing, Commander Mirwais says, we'll go to Palestine, Syria and Iraq to defeat the infidels. Any link-up between the fighting there and the fighting here in Afghanistan would be pretty worrying for the West. John Simpson, BBC News, Northern Afghanistan.